What's going on, everybody? It's your guys. Chunga Lou back at it again with another episode. Hopefully, everybody's doing good, great, feeling good, all that good stuff. Brian, how you doing today, my man? Not too bad, Mr. Lou. I hope everybody listening to this is doing well as well. For sure. So, this is part two to the adventures. Vietnam! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nam, baby, Nam! Yep. Full metal jacket. I don't know. The bird is the word. The bird. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember from that movie. Oh my god! And I, I watched the drill sergeant stuff. It's uh, it's it's actually pretty hilarious, but it's accurate. The whole the whole uh, first half. Of yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I, that was probably the, one of the most accurate Hollywood depictions of boot camp. Can I ask you about Forrest Gump? The, you know when he says Gump, what's your uh, purpose in the, is coming to the military? Is that is that real? Oh, uh, they like Gump. What is the purpose? To do what you do? You know, you, you know that part? Yeah, well, see, Gump was in the Army, so I'd probably, oh, probably, okay. probably a better question for Paul. Oh, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of accuracy. I'm pretty sure they yell like that. Do they? Oh, I mean, they, they, they vary. A lot of a lot of drill instructors, I'm sure drill sergeants, are very exaggerative. Yeah, in yeah. Their demeanor and everything. So yeah. They, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Because they, they, they're probably having fun, too. Oh, Most of the time, they're having fun. That's such a, it's such a hell of a fucking job. You got to have fun doing that shit. But, yeah, nonetheless, though. We're here, man. Part two. Part two. We're talking about the stay in Vietnam. Part two, two, because he was there before. Yes, yes, yes. So hopefully, if I said it, if I repeated anything, then I apologize. Yeah, man. So uh, we covered this a little bit. Your family picks you up at the airport. Yep. Um, you were staying with family. Yep. Uh, in between, like uh, brother and his wife, and then uh. My mom's side, because mm-hmm. my dad's side, they're most of it. Most of them are in America, so gotcha. I, I, at that time, because the last time they were in uh, Vietnam, but they moved to the, the states. So do so do all sides of the family get along pretty well? Uh, it's all right. Uh, I mean, like it's more cordial than anything yeah, else. Yeah, but yeah. like you know, we, we don't see each other often. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, so. gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, you ever have like elders like, oh, Brian, I'm a senior. Would it ever be like that, like uh, in California, but Vietnam not as much because I don't see them often. Not just really don't know you like that. Yeah, yeah, country. yeah. They know of me, but not me like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What about for your parents? I bet they like a daughter. They'd be like, oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like my mom, like her her neighborhood or whatever you call it. Like um, they have people that know her. You uh-huh. know, like 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 it's it's a small community, but they're like wow, yes. I remember when you were young back in the day. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. For sure. Um. So, how was how was the the how was that though? Was it a lot of space? You know, you're sleeping good. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was hot, but it was good. Uh. The, we we stand by um uh my brother and his wife. They stayed at uh, Landmark eighty one, which is like the uh, apparently according to Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia. <laughs> it's the second tallest building in Southeast Asia. Oh shit. It was the tallest, but I think a uh, building in Malaysia beat them out. I know it's it's so beautiful that, that area like like it has like like condos it's like Hong Kong style mm-hmm. which I don't know if that's a compliment or insult because Hong Kong they have a notorious reputation for like very very tight space but uh-huh. no it's, it's very roomy in gotcha, Vietnam gotcha. yeah they have one bedroom I think two bedroom as well gotcha, okay. yeah it, like like that area in Landmark eighty one with all the condos it's like you're not even in Vietnam it's like you're somewhere it's like you're somewhere else gotcha gotcha and then once you step out then you know it's Vietnam <laughs> okay cool cool so. It's a uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's no, a right. it's a it's a like a like a modern development that they're they're trying. Gotcha. And it's working out. It's working gangbusters because I, apparently, uh, from my, my brother's wife, she said that like once they announced everything like that and they, they were taking orders, it was all sold out. Jeez. So they, are they still building around that area still? Uh, I don't think so because uh, I don't think they have any more room. But they're still developing like like other places as well within within Ho Chi Minh. Got you. Got you. Uh, so. And then that was like a that was like an Airbnb type thing. Uh, condo, condo. Condo. But you can Airbnb it, but the owners they do Air, Airbnb it, and then they they can sell if they want and stuff gotcha, like that. Gotcha. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So yeah, it was really hot out there. What was the highest they got out there? Okay, so the temperature was like like listed as like ninety two, ninety three, but the heat Damn. index with the humidity was like one hundred, two hundred three. Damn. It was so humid. Damn. Like once it hit like nine, ten o'clock, it was already hot. Shit, that's crazy. Yeah, sometimes it was kind of advantageous to wake up super early just yeah, to avoid yeah. it. A lot, a lot of people go to work that early, like like they do the little street food thing, mm-hmm. street vending, 
small business, they do it all in the morning, and then they'll be done by like 11, 12 o'clock, and then take a break yeah, no, for, like I feel that. four or five hours, and then maybe go back to work a little bit to, at the night. Yeah, no, I feel that. It's just too hot for that shit. I know, I know. Is there, are, is there like water reserves, like around the city or something like that for people to stay hydrated or anything? What do you mean? Like, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about when I was on base. We used to have like, because of how hot it got in Iraq and shit, we would have like water, like, be different pallets of fucking water. That's a base. I know it probably is different for the No, city. uh, not that I know, no. Yeah. Um. But you go, you go inside a building, like a mall or something like that. Ah, AC. The AC is probably cool. AC is the heaven over there. Yeah. Like, 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 the, like, that should be advertising for everybody. Cool AC. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Especially for the tourist people like us. Yeah. Like, you see AC, like, oh my gosh, I'll definitely yeah, go. Hell yeah. I'll definitely go to your business. I know that's how I was when I was in Miami. I know it's two different things, but I guess because it gets real hot in Miami, every place we went into was like cold. Scored, it's cold? Oh, okay. okay. Inside, I think, I think like inside. Oh, okay. But when I got there, it's actually pretty chilly outside, so I was just cold the whole fucking time. Oh, okay. But, no, so, um, so, accommodations, you know we got to get into it, man. What was the food like? Oh, food, uh, fantastic, fantastic. I mean, I did have a little bit of stomach bug, but it wasn't too bad. But, yeah, pho, boon ball, rice, broken rice. Pho is, is Vietnamese originally, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I believe so. It's a staple. Well, some people I talked to said they don't like it as much, but I love it. I fucking love it. So, it's easy to eat. It has a lot of toppings as noodles, meat, vegetables, anything you want. How did that stack up to what you had in the, in the States? Oh, uh, better than North Carolina, definitely. Of course. I ain't... I, 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 I no know. disrespect, but I wasn't doing that. What about Atlanta? Uh, it was a little better. It was better than Atlanta. Uh, it, it was... I went to a, one in Texas. It was on par with Texas, actually. Texas is actually... Houston? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a Vietnamese community over there. It was actually uh, on par with it. And the food was fucking cheap, man. Really? Yeah, like like a bowl of pho, like a decent bowl is like 2 or $3. The really high-end one is like 4 or $5. Damn. I know. No tip required. Damn. I barely, I barely tipped it. I tipped once in a while if they like, like kept pampering me. But if they just gave me the food, I didn't tip anything. For sure. It's not, it's not really as uh, required as uh, America. Got you, got you. Um, is that all you eat? Is that like, did you eat any street food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of it was street food too. Uh huh. Like I, I had like dessert and like like food. I can't really explain. Got you, got you. Was but, it? What about dessert? Was it like what's a big dessert staple out there? Uh, I mean, they have ice cream tip typically, but you know, it's the more more the typical like American stuff that you anybody could probably eat. The big thing they're really big on is coffee. Really? They're really big on coffee. Really? Like, there's a coffee shop like everywhere. How how often did you eat throughout the day? Was it like did you have just one big meal, or what was breakfast like? Uh, breakfast? I feel like we just clunked it down. Like we chunked it down so we could try other things. Mm-hmm. I mean, once in a while we had a big meal, like dinner or something like that, but like breakfast and lunch, we'll just like eat and then just eat all day. Did you, did, was it always out or did the family cook? Uh, not my brother because uh, they didn't have, they didn't have a stove, but we were worried about eating out because we could always cook at home. Gotcha, gotcha. But my mom's family, they, they ate a little bit at home. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, got food out the way. Mm-hmm. Activities. I know you went on a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, that's a Da Nang. That's a Da Nang, which is in the middle of the country. But uh, we, uh, traveled around, got a motorbike, took gra- a lot of grabs. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that was kind of clutch. Oh, by the way, uh, about the coffee thing, they have uh, like milk coffee. It's really strong. Mm-hmm. And then they have Starbucks. They actually have Starbucks over there, oh, really? which is okay, but it's kind of the same prices here. And then they have a place called Highlands Coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 I guess that's a competitor to Starbucks. Uh, I don't know. There's a franchise called Jolly Bee. I don't know if you've ever heard of that before. Oh. Oh, but um, but th- th- I think that's part of it. But a Highlands Coffee is pretty good. Like uh, like a, a cup would be like like sixty k, which is like two or three dollars. Mm-hmm. wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's not, uh, so it's more of a name brand. It's more like a name brand thing. Like it's not like the best, but yeah. it's definitely not the worst. I think it's better than Starbucks. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. I believe it. I believe. It. Well, I'm not really much of a coffee drinker. Um, I was over there. Hey, so it's so like um so. You did uh, I forgot what I was trying to say. So uh, with the with the bikes, is it like kind of like how here like you can rent like a 
a bicycle? Is it kind of like that out there? Is a motorbike or? Yeah. Uh, motorbike te track? technically, I mean, we have to have license for it, but yeah, they they do let you. Most of the time, they do let you uh, loan it. I think it's like 130k a day, so it's like, what is that like, like fifteen dollars a day or, or something like that. That's not bad. I know, and it's good because uh, if you're driving a lot, then uh, it saves you more money than Grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, people like us, you know, I don't think we need to be driving a motorcycle because they, they drive kind of wild over there. Oh, for real. Yeah, like 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 they weaving in and out of traffic. They, they, I, I don't know how they drive, honestly. It's like it's like a it's like controlled chaos. It's like, uh, I remember Gabriel Iglesias, you know, the comedian, he talked about India, and he was like, uh, like the lines are just there for the general direction you want to go. That's yeah, kind yeah. of what it felt like, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Facts. The road is for, is, is for the taking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, one good, the one good or bad thing, whatever, however you want to call it, if you care about the environment, is littering is technically legal. Like, yes. legal, yes. Like, you can actually litter and nobody would say anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. But because, like, like they litter, and it, as long as you put it on the side... Uh, they have a cleanup crew every night. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I wish California could do that. Something. Hey, hey they, they, people litter all the time over there, and uh, nothing gets done. You know. Employ some, yeah, get some more jobs out there. I know. No, that'd be wasting too much money in the budget then, and then they have to raise taxes. Oh, you know, you know <laughs> Typical America. You know, it, you, know you know, we should, we praised America a lot last time, but hey, we hey, we, hey, we, we had shit on on we sometimes. We did say that, man. Those got it. Those got it. This bullshit, but hey, we're not. We're not. Not here for all that, but oh yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, though, that's 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 something though, cause I know like compared to like Singapore, I know that shit. Like you can't even, I already can't even spit your gum out. Or, oh yeah, 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 or, like, yeah. Spit period. Uh, uh, th th there's a weird one. Uh, you can't steal people's Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but you can't steal people's Wi-Fi in Singapore. Oh, yeah, when, when we took a tour in 2019, I had to look at the rules, cause I know Singapore is like they were known for being beautiful. So I looked at the rules. So I was like, uh, you make sure you flush your toilet. Before you take, after you take a piss, and take a shit. I mean, but let's be uh, honest look in, in America, people don't do that. Trust oh, me. Sure. Especially but in yeah, yeah, in America, some people don't do that. I'm like, man, if you were in Singapore, man, they would find you like a hundred dollars or something. Hey, that's crazy. I mean, it's just different ways of life. But I mean, yeah, Singapore looks pretty. At least the pictures I've seen. So it's like. Oh yeah, and it's uh, almost immaculately clean. Damn. But it's a small country, so it's a little bit easier to maintain. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's funny as hell. So, so be in Vietnam and like, oh, just toss that shit. Yeah, yeah. And it, it actually looks like, like, at the end of the night, in the morning, like, you know, before everybody starts waking up, I mean, it, it looks kind of decent. Like, like the yeah. streets are not super dirty. Like, it's, it's honestly cleaner than San Francisco. And San Francisco is a fucking rich country, uh, city, city. Uh, it's, now, is Vietnam around the same size as San Francisco? Or uh, okay, the city has 8 million people. I don't know what, what that means. Uh, Ho Chi Minh, Ho Chi Minh. Damn! I, that's a lot of people. It's really dense. I didn't. I know that was stupid to fuck with us as in Vietnam, but I mean, yeah, that's fucking crazy. I know. I know. Eight million. I know in the city, but but Ho Chi Minh is very big. It's, it has the it's the L A conundrum, you know, like oh, gotcha. like it, it's so big, you know, like 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 uh, there's the Gucci tunnels, like it's like a tour area where you can go under the tunnels, like yeah. you know during the war. Yeah, yeah. That's like 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 that's like like more than thirty minutes out from yeah. the city, and that's still considered Ho Chi Minh. Damn. Which is weird. Break it up I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know to call it, if it, to call it Ho Chi Minh or Saigon. I have oh, no. I, I have no idea. It, de it depends. Yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll know all that stuff through Diddy's and boot camp and shit. W w what do you usually call Ho Chi Minh or Saigon? Saigon. Really? Yeah, well, that was what I remember. That was like a Diddy. The oh okay. Battle yeah. of Saigon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they call it Ho Chi. After the war, they called it Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's funny. You know, I, I think I said this in the last, uh, the long, long podcast ago. You know, but bef uh, before Ho Chi Minh died, he wanted his ashes like spread up across the parts of the country. Uh -huh. But you know what the government officials did? They, uh, they, they have a body viewing in, in Hanoi. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm like, wow, man, he's the leader of your country, and yeah, you're not gonna yeah. honor his request. Yeah, for real. How did the family feel about that? Uh, I have no idea. I, uh, his life, his, his life was a little bit more like, like on the low low. Gotcha. gotcha. You don't really know much about him. Gosh. Except like you know, revolutionary guy, and I don't want to get into politics, but I honestly don't know how to feel about him. Like, like as a like you know, as a world leader, I yeah. guess you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not like you know, in Vietnam they don't treat him like Kim Jong Un or Kim Jong Il yeah, yeah. or Kim, Kim Il Sung. They don't treat him like they don't treat uh, they, they treat him as a great world leader, but they don't treat him as like a god. You know, like gotcha, gotcha, like a gotcha. like like the Kim family in gotcha. North Korea. Gotcha. That's, that's, that's cool though I mean he had, Like for me He has goods and bads You know You know He did free The Vietnamese people From the French people mm -hmm. You know I, I mean You know Communists You can think Whatever you want But 
you know, it is what it is, and the city Vietnam is what it is because of him. Yeah, yeah. For better or worse. Yeah. A mix of both, I'd say. I don't. I don't know much about him. Period. Yeah. So I have to do my own research on mm-hmm. myself. Yeah. I, I think he walks the line in between, but you know, I don't want to get too much into it. But you know, he he is the leader, and the city's named after him after the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's 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 man, that's big in itself. But so. We're, we're, we're trying. I'm trying to go through the boxes here. Traveling. Oh, um, uh, uh, my dad. He uh, actually he got pulled over. I kind of pulled over, kind of, on a oh, motorcycle. Shit. What was he doing, man? Nothing. No, no, no. We were on the way to back to my uh, mom's family place from Ho Chi Minh to back back there, mm-hmm. and uh, like they just stopped in the middle of the road. It was a light, and then like they they pulled him over. They like they touched his bike and like they told him to come here, uh-huh. and then he came. And then you know we were worried. You know why? Because we don't have a license. Oh shit. But that's not what they pulled him over for. Uh, <laughs> my dad asked, "Why are you pulling me over in Vietnamese?" And then, yeah. and then, uh, and then they got the the, the breathalyzer. They told him, oh, on it. Shit. <laughs> they told him on it. I laughed so hard. I like good thing we didn't drink, but I laughed so hard in my mind. I'm like, damn, that's what they pulled him over for. I, it was just a random thing. But my dad thought uh, they pulled us over because we were wearing very touristy clothes because we were wearing short sleeves, oh. short shorts. You know, a lot of people were wearing long. Pants and long sleeves or whatever. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, That's we we stuck out pretty good. Damn, I didn't even I didn't even realize that. <laughs> no, but, but they told him to blow on the thing. Like it looked like one of those uh those uh, those little cameras or whatever like that. Yeah. But they just told him to blow on it and then they looked at it like, all right, go. So they just do random breathalyzer tests like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want people drinking and driving, especially on a motorcycle. Hell no. Maybe maybe shit, maybe they do that shit more often in America. Uh, do they it do checkpoints in America that much? Only on the holidays. Yeah, it probably wouldn't work as, as much though, cause we're not all on bikes. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's crazy though. So. That was pretty funny. I was like, "What?" Yeah, I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> I know. I was like, "Do we have to? Do we have to pay him?" Damn. But luckily, did, did like, you say that on the last podcast? Huh? Or was that off the mic? Which well, one? I had to pay. Uh, uh, off the mic, off the mic. Yeah. Uh, it's a kind of a long story, but um, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of weird at the airport. But I, I don't know. Should we? Should we talk about it? I don't know. Man. It's up to you, man. I've, I've... We might come back to that. Yeah. For maybe, sure. maybe. No, nah, man. So. uh... So food, traveling, Landmark 81, that was like the big highlight, you know, because it was almost done in 2019. Mm-hmm. Like the mall and everything was done, but like like going to the top was not done yet, yeah, yeah. but it was done now and we, we were able to get to go. It was only like 18 bucks. Damn. It was 18 bucks to go all the way up and then they gave you like a free drink and then uh, they gave you like a VR game, which was pretty cool. And they gave you photos. So overall, how, how, how much do you think you spent just in Vietnam alone? Uh, well, in American dollars. Well, for me personally, because my, my brother and them, you know, they, they did a lot of a lot. Co- cover. Yeah. yeah, but um, but for me, like a few hundred dollars maybe. Damn, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the food was super cheap. Even like like traveling was pretty cheap. Yeah. Uh, like, it, I wish, honestly, it could be cheap like that in America. So, <laughs> the, the, I'm sure they got gas stations and stuff out there. Did you ever, is there like a stable gas station? They call it Petro. Oh, okay. I like internationally. But um no, but you just go over there, the guy does it for you. No shit. Like in Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it Portland and New Jersey? I've, I've heard of that. I've heard in New Jersey. I, I, think, think, I think they still do that. I don't know why, but they still do that. That would be weird to me. I know. Getting out the car and probably fighting with it. Like, no, I, got uh, it. I got it myself, man. Yeah, yeah, I got like, it. do you not trust me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do it for you. It's really quick because it's a motorbike and uh, you're on your way. Wow, dude. That's, that's cool. Is there like a. Uh, so, do you see a lot of. Is there a lot of sports bikes? Or is it. Like, no, there's no the Harley Davidsons. If you're looking for Harley Davidsons, there's no Harley Davidsons. And stuff like that? No, it's it's just like motorbikes. It feels like moped style. Oh, okay. There's mopeds and then there's like motorbikes too. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I, I was hoping to find a uh, what was it a uh, a Harley Davidson, but I didn't find any. That'd be some Harley Davidson. You probably get pulled over all the time. Like, uh, before we left, a few days, uh, I did see a Rolls Royce, oh, really? an actual Rolls Royce. I like. That person has money, damn it. Got a hell of money. So, so how's it? So, is there like, it's like in Ho Chi Minh. You, you spend most of your time in Ho Chi Minh, right? Uh, yes, yes. So, how, like, is there, is like the, like the class, the division, like, is there like a whole district for like the, 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 the wealthier side? Uh, and a little bit, but cult- it's mostly culturally, actually. Okay. So they have like 12 districts and then they have other ones. Um, the one in Landmark 81, well, mm-hmm. like the big skyscraper or whatever, yeah. was uh, called Bintan. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. And then um, uh, like like District 1 and like Bintan were like the touristy areas. Mm-hmm. 
and then um district two was like a more developing area i didn't get to go this time but uh it was like really developed they look like homes like like florida oh wow because it's by the water or whatever by the oh, river nice. and then um uh district five is like more chinese oriented mm -hmm. district seven i believe is korean and they also have a district for indian people really yeah i was like cool Districts overall? Uh, twelve, and then there's like like five other districts that, that are not named numbers. Damn. I know. That's some big ass fucking. Ho Chi Minh is big. I, I think that's why they were able to fit eight million people. Hell yeah, that's that. That's you know, it feels really busy. Like like when you go, like the roads feel really busy. Are they tight? What do you mean? Like they're a skinny road. Uh, they're about the same size. Like they fit cars. They fit yeah. like three lane cars, but there's a lot of motorcycles Tried going. Dang, dude. I feel like I feel like going there will make my head. I know, I know. Just trying to take in everything. Going yeah, home. but I mean, for us touristy people, like if we don't have any translators, uh, maybe maybe I could bullshit my way. But we mostly have been on in District One. Okay. They, uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but I mean, for us, like it's like like a dollar or two more expensive. Gotcha. It's it's not it's nothing like 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 twenty dollars more expensive or anything gotcha. like that. Is uh are the are street vendors like aggressive out there like or? Or the salespeople aggressive? Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people are. Uh, some people try to sell lottery tickets, you know, because, like, you know, they're not the richest people, but it's better than panhandling, like, in America. Because yeah. in America, they just ask for money, need help. Yeah. But over there, they try to do something yeah, yeah, over yeah. there. I feel like the government might say something if you're just panhandling. For sure, for sure. But, um... Uh, actually, there's a place called the Bentime Market, mm -hmm. and uh, like like when you go over there, it's it's very touristy, definitely touristy. Mm -hmm. You go in there, they're like they sell like purses, shoes, and everything like that, mm -hmm. and uh, and the they're like uh, yeah, they, they jack up the price like crazy, <laughs> like like two million dollars and Vietnamese, like even two million dollars Vietnamese, I'm like for that, like for yeah. like a knockoff. I mean, it, it's really good. Okay, the stuff they sell over there, they they say it's like North Face and stuff like that. It's really good quality, but it's definitely not from the manufacturer. Yeah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. We um I know in Iraq there was a uh, there was a, there was a um a market yeah it was a, it was a little store they sold stuff and it was it was Curtagoni instead of Patagonia yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it was probably good quality hell yeah I, I still got my hoodie and shit. oh nice nice oh yeah no that's funny though no <laughs> my brother and and his wife they bought a couple of uh Yeezy slides whatever those are called oh yeah yeah they bought a few of those hell, hey fuck it, man. <laughs> they didn't negotiate my brother was so funny oh my gosh shout out to him he was uh like like uh because it's better if you act like a tourist uh -huh. than speaking vietnamese because they, they're very nice to tourist people because oh, you know because okay. they think we're dumb or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. even though I, I think now everybody knows the nature of the bentang market everyone knows yeah. the nature of like like they try to like sell you jack up the price and then mm. you just have to negotiate yeah yeah he tried like i think one time he tried to sell like they tried to sell one of something for like 500k or 700k and then and then he's like 200k 200k he said like an asian person like 200k and then he's like no 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 and then he raised up just a little bit and they, they sold it to him oh shit. yeah because like i think the strategy over there is you have to lowball them okay whatever they tell you because a lot of them do speak english because there's a lot of tourist people gotcha, gotcha. next time i take you there you're gonna lowball them I got you, to, I got you. Yeah, you have to lowball them, and then you have to find a price you're willing to pay for it. Got you, for sure. I've heard, I, I saw a video, a guy was in Egypt, he had to do the same thing, like... Lowball him like crazy? Yeah, he was trying to, um, I think he was trying to buy uh, whatever type of garment it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to upsell him. Yeah, yeah. I've never had, I've never been in a negotiating situation, though. I know, I know. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. I didn't, I, luckily, I didn't need anything from there, because it was mostly like, like, bags and stuff like that. Because in America... Like uh, he he got me one of those uh, those fanny packs. Mm -hmm. it, it said North Face and it said like Supreme or whatever. I mean it's really good quality, but it's definitely not from the North Face. Yeah, facts, facts. Right. I but, mean, um, I think shit like that is cool though. I oh know. yeah, yeah, definitely. But I never I don't have a use for it in the states. Like my brother's like, do you want any more? Like no, because like when I go to like like a Cedar Fair park, like Fury, I, they don't they I can't bring that on the ride. I have to pay it for a locker. So yeah. like, I'll just get everything in my pocket. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um. It's not like your brother was having a good time. Oh yeah, he had too much of a good time. I didn't know he would because uh, the last time he went was two thousand six with me when we oh, were kids. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's older. Yeah. He got money in his pocket. Oh yeah, yeah. Married. I know. <laughs> Just married. I know. He got married twice, I guess. Yeah. To the same lady. To the yeah, same lady. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome, though. That's awesome. How are they doing, though? Like, are they still out there now? Or they they uh, as of this recording, they'll be gone Monday. Okay. Yep, on the, uh, I believe the 18th or 19th, yeah, June. I, nah, they're already set up in Houston, right? Yeah, 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 they're good in Houston, yeah. Man, dude, man, much, 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 uh, 
both in love to them. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything yo. goes good with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show them both them. podcasts. Well, maybe more of this podcast because they probably don't care how I got there, how I got home. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, my, uh, what's the word? Congrat con uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool though, man. So. I know everyone. It's funny because once you got married, everyone's like, "When's your turn?" I'm like, uh, "I don't know, man." Hey. I, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did casually look, but I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about a relationship for me personally, like yeah. a long-term relationship. It, I kind of lie. I tell the girls like I do want a long-term relationship, but do I? I don't know. Uh, he out here, he out here. No, not that. No, but I, I don't know if I want to commit. And, but and plus, I don't live in, in Vietnam. You know, it's kind of hard. Especially halfway around the world, you know. Well, I know people make it work, but for me personally, I I, I don't know. I, I'm more of a person that likes to meet somebody face to face. Yeah, I don't really do long distance. Yeah. Would you Would you be willing to like, like what? All right, what if she could to could travel to me? Like she has a visa. Yeah, I guess we could be. That would be a lot easier. And then she, you know, plan to eventually have her come stay, or you stay over there. If it was that serious, would you be willing? To stay over there, uh, not at this point in my life. Yeah. Maybe later on, but not at this point. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, I mean, being in a relationship is, a, is a, it is, a, it is. Okay, it's one thing to be. You're in a relationship with Lisa. At least she's here. Yeah. It's yeah, it's yeah. not easy if I'm with somebody over there, you know. But then that comes. I'm not gonna lie to you. That comes with. I love Lisa there, but that comes with a lot of. That changes the whole dynamic, man. Why? Because you live with each other now, it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're married. Hey, but, hey, but at, least, at least you get to see her every day, not me having to FaceTime somebody on oh, the yeah, phone. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So... No, this is definitely... Uh, being single has its advantages, being in a relationship has its advantages. Yeah. I mean, I was single for... Ever? For real, for real. So, uh, like, this has been still... I'm still adjusting... Yeah. ...to this type of lifestyle in a lot of ways, but, I mean, hey, you're not, you know... Day by day, though, man. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. sit here and make it seem like it, you're missing out, but I'm not saying that to downplay what a relationship. Yeah, be. it depends. But it, at this point in my life right now, I, I, you know, being single is probably a good thing for me. Yeah, for you know, sure. I got a lot of stuff going on at work, and then YouTube, and then podcast, and then I'm planning on starting a new YouTube channel for about sure. credit cards and. I don't really finance. I don't want to really give people advice. Yeah. But it's more of like my journey, you know, stuff like that. Because yeah. a lot of people do stuff about tips and tricks and stuff like that, best credit cards. But I'm just going to do what I like, what I have and experience, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, that's that's awesome. And that, that too, because then, then you you add distance on top of that shit and you won't be able to, mm -hmm. with the time difference. And oh, yeah. You're working. So you I'm thinking in the Vietnam culture, like, you know, it's it, you know they want to get married and stuff like that. But, you know. In America, I mean, it's kind of changing a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, for it, sure. It's, it's, it's getting expensive in America. That's it the thing. Is, man. Got a lot of got a lot to think about I mean, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the states. Oh yeah, yeah. But anyways, back to yeah, Vietnam. Yeah. Back to Vietnam. What what else we got? Uh, yeah, you have anything to ask? You didn't talk about your roller coaster. Oh yeah. So okay. So. Uh, after the wedding, we went to Da Nang, which is in the middle of the country, mm -hmm. and it was cool. It's like a beach town, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, hang out at the beach. Uh, went to um, the the Hand Bridge or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. It's called Sun World. Mm -hmm. Sun World is like is like a Cedar Fair in Six Flags. It's, it's it's more of a chain park. There's a Vin Wonders. Uh, there's a Vin Wonders and a uh, Sun World. Okay. So uh, I I don't know which one's the Cedar Fair or Six Flags of each other but i mean they look all right gotcha, gotcha. yeah and it, it, like like so the, the one with the um hand bridge i think it was called by not hills or whatever mm -hmm. and uh like it had like a castle it looked like universal studios honestly mm -hmm. but um they, they didn't have that many rides i think the only notable ride was an alpine coaster and it, it reminded me of pigeon forge honestly like dollywood yeah really <laughs> yeah so is it so is it like what else they got there if it's not rides is it like games or like uh shows experience but mostly for the uh, the hand bridge Okay. And then they had the big uh, trolley thing or whatever. It took uh -huh. like twenty minutes. Like it, it was, cr it was fun. Wow, wow, wow. I know. Like you went from the bottom to the trolley thing all the way up. No, oh, nice. Twenty minutes, twenty up minutes up, twenty minutes down. Nice. It was a lot of fun. Nice, hell yeah, hell yeah. And so, you said something about credits. What's up? What's up? The three credits you got or something for, for there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Asia Park, Asia Park, uh, roller coasters. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Asia Park. It's near the airport, actually, Da Nang Airport. Gotcha. Uh, they have a big ass Ferris wheel. I think at one point it was like one of the tallest in the world, like you know, back in the nineties mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But, uh, but we went on the Ferris wheel. We went on two like like family rides, and then we rode. Uh, we rode, you know, the Nighthawk, right? Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. We were the same company that made Nighthawk. Okay. Yeah, but, but they had this ride, this model. They have it everywhere around the world. Okay. Like, it's a clone. Gotcha, gotcha. But it was very smooth. It had the vest restraints. It didn't have the <clears throat> over the shoulder bulky ones. Mm-hmm. So, like, like you, didn't, you didn't have to bang your head or anything like that. Nice, it nice. was actually kind of smooth because it was open in 2017. So, okay. it, so, I mean, it had to be kind of decent. And it was all right. Yeah. It wasn't anything for me to write home about. But uh, my brother's wife kind of got into roller coasters a bit. So, she said she might write Fury when she comes to Charlotte. Oh, shit. I know. Oh, shit. I, got, I know. I might have gotten an enthusiast here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's funny as hell. Oh. So... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should start people with the with the the lower coasters and then go with Fury. But I mean, Kara, when, when you go to, like when you see it, I mean, Fury is like the like the tall thing you see. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's tempting. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Anything else that, that you did? Oh, uh, a good food over there. They, 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 uh, they have a lot of good like noodle stuff over there in Da Nang. They're pretty really pretty famous for mm-hmm. over there, and uh, the weather was hot over there. So the the name touristy too. Uh, half of it's touristy, half of it's local. But I mean, you can't tell. I mean, for a Vietnamese person, like I guess, like me, mm-hmm. kind of. I mean, I could kind of tell, but I mean, I felt like home. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, people start talking Vietnamese with me. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know I have enough knowledge, yeah. kind of, and I could kind of translate some stuff. Did you get a haircut out there? Uh, no, just a trim, not a haircut. Okay. No. How was that? Uh, it was okay. That was actually a uh, um uh. My sister, I guess sister-in-law, oh, okay. uh, her, her mom, she trimmed it a bit. Nice, nice. Uh, I got a, I got a teeth crown actually. Oh, I needed shit. one. I know it, it's, it's actually white. My, my, my brother was like the other one was really yellow. Oh, now it's damn, white. Damn. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I got, I got that. I got a fill in, dude. Um, uh, you know how much it cost? How much? How much does a crown cost usually in America? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. It's not they said a thou- They said a thousand to twenty five hundred. In America. In America, I don't know if that includes insurance or anything like that. Uh, crown cost uh, with insurance, health insurance or dental insurance, whatever you call it. Insurance. Oh, I'll be typing fast in here. Like, I know. We got here said for in the range of five to twenty five per crown, five hundred dollars to twenty five hundred. You don't have to pay for a crown and cleaning and a filling because I had a filling because I had sensitive teeth on my bottom one. Mm-hmm. You know how much I paid for it? How much? Two eighty three. Dang. And it was actually good quality. Okay, people, this is actually good quality uh, dentist stuff. This is not like some like shady hokey pokey, you know, yeah, 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 in the yeah. middle of the alley nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually like like an established place. Wow. So. Yeah, you did crown really good, man. You just gotta take that. Just gotta uh, book that five hundred flight to guitar whenever you need to do your uh, guitar airways. I know. I know. Your dental, your dental checkups. Uh, you know, last minute they they asked me about it, but laser surgery. I, I probably should thought about. Probably should have thought about it because it's probably really good over there. I think the problem with America is not that they're bad. It's just they have too much regulation. Mm-hmm. I think I think over there they don't have as much regulation. They have more of the technology stuff. Because yeah. they, they have technology over there too. It's not like they're like inept or anything like that. Yeah. It's not like the dark ages over there. Yeah, I I, I think uh, I've heard that laser surgery here isn't bad either, and it's not as expensive as it probably could be yeah but i've heard that from different accounts from like different people that mm-hmm. have had it. it was really weird because like um like like you know how like in america like the dentist office like one person one room mm-hmm. over there it's like like they had like 10 in uh, one room okay. but it wasn't that many people it was just you know in case they got super busy or anything like that gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. yeah I, I told the dentist I was like, that's kind of weird that they have 10 people but i told him in america i think it's a privacy thing that's why yeah for sure for sure but not a whatever a if it works it works mm-hmm. but the crowd it looks pretty good Hell I don't yeah. have any com- discomfort or anything like that. Hell yeah, dude. Even with insurance, because I, I, I do have dental insurance, but I, I think that would have been super expensive anyways. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and, and you know what? They take Visa cards, too. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I was a little surprised. They, a, a lot of places, like especially the like the, like the the uh, Landmark 81 and like mm-hmm. all the District 1 areas, they take yeah. Visa MasterCard. Yeah. But American Express, I had like almost no luck, actually. Damn. Okay, uh, I went to a mall with my mom. And it said American Express welcome, and then they tried to t- put my Delta reserve. Yeah. And it, for some reason, they take it. And I asked Vietnamese, like, why don't you take it? It says it right there. And then they didn't really have an answer. Like, fuck it. Damn. I just damn. gave my Visa card, my Chase Sapphire preferred. No foreign transaction fees. That's the one time no foreign transaction fees come in, come in play. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Damn, dude. So. Adventures. Do we do we cover everything? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see if I got everything covered. Uh oh, the sodas, very good over there. Yeah. Coca Cola, yeah. Pepsi, like they have a lot less sugar than here. Oh hell yeah! Well, was there different flavors? No, no, no. It's like Coke and Pepsi. Mm-hmm. They used to have Coke Cafe, but they have it in the states now. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Ate some pretty good food, wedding stuff. Uh, Landmark eighty one. There you go. 
It looks like a pencil. It's beautiful though, man. I know. Look, all the uh, all the um, condos right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. You see, it, it looks like America. It looks like yeah, New York, yeah. kind of. It looks like Central Park. But then when you get out, when you get out, then it, it, it looks like it, it's 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 Vietnam. You can tell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you got all the motorcycles. It's really crowded. Super that's, duper crowded. Look at my man trying to make this left turn. That's just crazy. I know. He's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna turn. Yeah, you just, honestly, that's all you do. Just turn. Yeah. Just turn and honk your horn. Yeah, yeah, just say, yeah. I'm coming. That's all. There's a city there. I wish I could show you. This is in Da Nang. That's pretty, man. Yeah. And then there's some, uh, I think, uh, cheese foam, whatever. I don't know what that's called. And then the, the matcha. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Coffee is a big thing over there. Mm -hmm. Is that bobo? No, it's just coffee. I didn't have that much bobo over there, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, about this, it's almost the same prices here. Yeah. There's a Hoi An. There you go. They're, they're Thirty minutes away from Da Nang. Lanterns, lanterns galore. It's pretty man. I know. There you go. It, it's so pretty at night. All the lanterns. It, it felt like Chinese New Year's, honestly. Yeah. And then we got on the boat too. Yeah, that's cool as hell. I know. What's that? Or what's that start? Is that are those like houses or are those like businesses? Businesses. Yeah, yeah. But it was pretty cool. They got all the lanterns. They got ice cream right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's the Nang. There's the um, what is it called? Trolley or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, went, went up. It's, it's really tall. Yeah. This, this is like Japan or something like that. Dang, dude, that's beautiful. Let me see if there's anything else I forgot. Uh, there's the Alpine, the Alpine coaster. That's cool. It wasn't that long though. It was very short, but it was it was cool. It was included at admission, and then they had that thing like on Lombardi Street in San Francisco, but. Yeah, this uh, this place is like expanding so rapidly. Like they mm -hmm. they have so much land to work with because uh -huh. it's like on a mountaintop. Uh huh. Yeah, they they just keep working on it. Y'all got y'all take some good pictures, man. Uh, iPhone, iPhone, do that for you. <laughs> yeah, we got some uh, authentic seafood stuff oh from my. uh. It, it's it's kind of a business, but it's kind of a street too. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of market. Hey, look at that smile. I know. I know. Is that is that with my teeth? I don't think that's with my teeth. I do not think. I think that was after I got back. Yeah, and then the, there you go. They have Vietnam Airlines and Vietjet Airlines. <laughs> Vietnam Airlines is like a, like a legacy carrier. It's like uh, like Delta and American. Gotcha, gotcha. Vietjet is like a like a Spirit Airlines actually. Gotcha. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I never tried Vietjet, but I heard they have the delays. God damn. A lot of delays. Damn. Yeah, like, like they they said uh, your only hope is to take a very early morning flight. Yeah, damn. Yeah, the, the cool thing about Vietnam Airlines is part of Sky Team, so it's part of Delta. The same mm -hmm. partnership. Mm -hmm. But um, I try. I, you can book a you can book an award flight with your that's the Sky Miles, but it's kind of expensive actually mm -hmm. with the Vietnam Airlines. And we bought a, we were on a Boeing seven eighty seven. This is from Da Nang to Ho Chi Minh. It was only an hour fifteen minutes, but it was a full plane. Wow. I know. I, I was like, I didn't. Know. Well, I guess people want to go to the city. I guess. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Wedding stuff. Nice. I know. Well, they're, they're getting married twice. <laughs> It's locked in now. Oh, this place, uh, they had this, I think, in Texas, I believe. But, like, like this uh, this place is a hot pot place. And then, like, before you go, you can get your nails done. You get ice cream for free no when shit. you're waiting. Yeah, when you're waiting. Damn. I know. I'm like, fuck. And then the, there's a guy, like, you, you just pay it and he does the noodle stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, you see this shit? I know. Yeah, he had the, he, he turned some music on. I think he turned Black Pink or something. Oh, wow. That's funny. Oh, Texas Chicken. They have a place called Texas Chicken. I, I think it's the same umbrella as Church's Chicken. Oh, wow. That's funny as hell. I, I looked up online. That's where they said Church's Chicken. I was like, that's oh, okay. funny as hell. Yeah, and then they had the Vietnam War music. I, th I think I talked about it last time, but I didn't go this time. Uh -huh. Because, I mean, the war, like, the war's not happening still. So, yeah. you know, I don't know if anything changed. And then, oh, my God, it's so good. That coffee. There's, there's the Avengers Tower. I didn't go this time because uh, I went already. Uh-huh. I might go next time. Yeah. And then there's there's uh there's pho there too. I I had a lot of pho before I left. You gonna, you gonna turn into a bowl of pho? I know, I know. Look look at the bedtime market. Look at the shoes. Oh, shit. They shrink wrap the shoes. Horses? I know. I think it's more to jack up the prices. I don't think it's anything else. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if it's real or not. Maybe not, but it looks real. It looks authentic to me. I know. I know. Air Force Ones, man. Damn, they got the AF Ones. I know. Shit. Damn. The bedtime market. Just remember the bedtime market. Back in the plastic. I know. <laughs> Oh man, and then uh, coffee places at Landmark eighty one. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. You it up, man. I know. I know. Well, but my my chase points were pretty happy on this trip. I I, I used my chase card a good amount. That's good. But American Express, I only used it for the grabs. Gotcha, gotcha. The Ubers, I guess you want to call it. Gotcha, for sure, man. But damn, dude, that 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 was, that was nice. That was an experience right there. For sure. I, I, oh, Vietnam. When I go back again, uh, yeah, I would visit again. I don't know when, but uh, it might be a while. 
Because I like to go every few years. I don't want to go every year because I, I feel like it'd be desensitizing, honestly. And that actually costs money. Yeah, for sure, for sure. The, uh, I have to go to an island in uh, in South Vietnam, and then I have to go to Hanoi. I've never been there yet. Okay. okay. Those are like the last two like objectives on my list before gotcha. I pretty much did everything in Vietnam. Because right. the Nang was the one I wanted to go because I heard good things about it. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. So did you? Would you say? Do you know a lot about like? Vietnam history, Chinese history. The war. <laughs> that's the that's the thing everybody knows about, yeah. and maybe the French. Okay, like does in the nineteen fifties. Does your family like kind of put you on the other things that maybe Americans wouldn't know about, or any other cultural? No, because they don't really follow that kind of stuff. Surprisingly, gotcha. I try to follow it. I, well, I always want, been interested on in how they got to where they're at before, and especially after the war mm-hmm. until now. Gotcha. I mean, because uh, they, uh, I heard they were pretty isolated before. Uh-huh back in the day but then they figure out it was not going to be sustainable so they had to open up a little bit to the world gotcha. after the war in the 1980s the late gotcha. 80s that's when gotcha. they started opening up sure. and it's a good thing because i mean without opening their, their, their doors to other countries like like if they're still stuck they'd be like north korea honestly mm-hmm. and north korea they're really isolated today <clears throat> yeah well shit man are, are, are we good I think so. Yeah. Covered our. I think we covered most of our bases. Uh, littering was legal. Yep, we covered that. My dad got breathalyzer test. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, food was super duper cheap. That's the one thing I will miss. Yeah. I won't miss my twenty dollar bowl of pho here in yeah, America. Exactly. Exactly. Including tip. Exactly. Um, dog man, I'm glad we hit we hit a full circle. Woo! Fucking, you got the trips out the way. You got oh, yeah. the, the fame. I got family stuff. I got King's Dominion Bush Gardens maybe in July and then Ohio. Mm-hmm. I still have a lot to go, man. So I'm still not even close to being done. But after the Ohio trip, I'm done. I don't want any more trips. Yeah. I am done. I am so out of it, man. Yeah, no, I feel that. That's, that is crazy. I know. A hell of a summer. I know. I know. But I'm excited for the. I'm excited for Ohio, though. A lot of people are like, why are you going to Ohio? Like, I'm going to King's Island, Cedar Point, and maybe the Pro Football Hall of Fame, too. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. Hell yeah. So, man, a lot of traveling to be doing 2022. I didn't think I was going to do this much traveling. I feel like a frequent flyer. I feel like I, feel like I, should, have, I should have Delta status by now. I don't know, man. It is funny. I was like, damn, 23. It seemed like 2023. Yeah, everybody wants to do some traveling, some type of traveling. Oh, yeah, yeah. This like, 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 it's fully open now. Like, everywhere is fully open. Yeah, so we're back at it. But need, it's good to have these breaks from time to time. But... Mm. All in all, though, man, as far as Vietnam is concerned, we checked that box off. Yeah. Family came back in one fucking piece. Mm-hmm. Family came back in one piece. Brother, happily married. You know what I'm saying? New chapter in, in, in their lives again. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, all. Oh, my God, God. You're so nice. Family, yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? Wow, you're so nice. Hopefully, Houston treats them nice. Hopefully, the weather's good over there, but it's really hot over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, never been to Texas. Never been to... Vietnam, so you should go one day. Take your family. Everybody, uh, my sister used to stay in in uh, Houston. Yeah. Uh, Lisa's been to Houston. But uh, they have a Vietnamese community. There's a very big community oh, over really? there. Yeah, I think it's like southwest of Houston. Oh wow! I didn't mm-hmm. know that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of Vietnamese people. Yeah, that, 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 that that's the reason our uh, sister-in-law's parents moved. Yeah. No, that's cool though. Shit. And it's, it's a little bit che- a little bit cheaper, just a little bit. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know how it is now because, you know, Texas had a reputation of being very cheap, but, I mean, a lot of people move in there. Of course. Shit, yeah, exactly. I know uh, uh, Lisa sent me a, a house out there that mm-hmm. was, like, mm-hmm. bigger than, than where we're in now, and it was, like, hella cheap. Yeah, to, Prob- uh, I heard the property tax is kind of expensive. Probably, yeah. That's, hey, that's always a catch. Hey, so. uh, uh, hey, as long as we're not going to Austin, Texas. That's the, that's the cool area where everybody wants to go is Austin, Texas. Yeah, exactly. Which I, I could understand, but, I mean... I don't know. Well, once you hear once you hear about people moving there too much, I think it's a little too late. I think yeah, she she gets played out. That, that's kind of you're, you're, you're kind of too you're you're kind of late for the party. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's that's kind of why I was like where I was like because we talked about moving because Lisa wanted to move to Houston. Uh huh. No, I ain't gonna move there if it's like the new place. It's the top five. It's the top five most popular city in America, yeah. which is crazy. I'm like, what Houston? Never think of Houston. Well, like I said, Charlotte was like that for a while. I said, you know, yeah, I think it slowed down just a little bit, but I, I think people are still moving here, but it's not as fast as it was years ago. Charlotte might have gotten overrated. Yeah, and, and they figured out it's kind of, I, I had a coworker. He left because he, he said it was too expensive in Charlotte. He Damn. left. I know. I mean, well, 
you know, I'm gonna go whole tangent on Charlotte again, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. Yeah, you go, you go. I think we've done enough traffic stuff. Yeah, but nonetheless, though, again, though, man, I'm glad everything. You guys have fun and everything. Glad you're back in one piece. Oh, thank you, thank you, um, thank you for everybody listening to this, as always, and hope you guys enjoyed our journey, even your journey too, because you were asking all the questions and. I, I did my best. Hopefully, yeah, I hope, hopefully I asked. I know I asked some dumbass questions, but I did catch myself. So don't, 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 don't cut me too. You much. know what the teacher said? There's no such thing as a dumb question. Oh, I said some dumbass. <laughs> yes, there it, is. It, 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 it was in my mind because you know we freestyling this shit. So I was like, it was in my mind, but then it came out like, oh, that's dumb as fuck. Oh, <laughs> you did that on the spot too. Yeah, yeah, but nonetheless, though. Hey, don't be like Booker T. Remember he did the Hulk Hogan. Uh, uh, Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you. Uh, 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 yeah, no, no, he he said it, and then he like, oh my gosh. No, but but everybody played it cool though. It was, it yeah, was, that it was, was a cool. funny ass yeah. video. This is reaction after. Oh hey, um, uh, I think we're pretty much done about the Vietnam topic. But you heard undisputed Shannon and Skip broke up. Really? Yeah, they broke up. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean they had a lot of tension. I think when uh, when when Skip was uh, talking about Tom Brady, I think that's when they kind of broke it. Oh, I was like, it was actually against the 49ers. Because uh, Tom Brady had a really bad game against the 49ers, and then he was trying to defend them, and then. He uh he he told Brit, like Shannon that uh, wow he he's still playing at forty five and you retired at thirty five or whatever. Oh, I'm like what? Damn. I'm like what kind of comparison is that? That's weird. He's trying to cut loaded, like, trying to all for Tom Brady, man. He does it all for Tom Brady. Hey, man. He's simping. So oh man, somebody posted like all the QBs that are retired now. It's like their childhood is gone. They went from like Tom Brady. Tom Brady, McNabb, fucking... Philip Rivers. Yeah, like, everybody does, like, your childhood. Is Peyton Manning, crazy. they're all gone, I know. Like, the only guy is Aaron Rodgers. Oh, God. The Jets. Hopefully that works Drew out. Drew gone. Yeah, I know. Shit. Who we got now? We got Patrick Mahomes. What's, jo- uh. I will say, my father, I mean to cut you off. I will say, when those time comes, like, you know, in, in sports, you're like... I, don't, I, I know this is way off the fucking topic, but I was like... When these people leave, you're like, fuck. Like, when, when Kobe retired, I was like, damn, it don't feel the same no more. But R.P. Kobe, but in football, a lot of the new guys are, like, filling in well, though. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Mahomes, man, he's filling that uh, that top NFL QB yeah. uh, very, very well. Exactly. A little too well. Yeah, right. But nonetheless, though, man, we're going to end it here. Uh, much love, peace, happiness. You know all the good vibes. You know Chunky Lou is all about good vibes. Good vibes. vibes. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? We try to, you know, try to try to send that good positive stuff to you guys' way. Mm-hmm. Hope everyone has a great uh, week or weekend. Yeah. This is Friday. Yeah. Um, safe. You know, be safe. And uh, Brian, I got nothing else to say. But anyways, thank you guys for listening to this, and we hope to catch you guys in the next episode. For sure. Peace out.